Welcome back everybody, this is Tassie with Tassie Eats and today I'm doing a Japanese ramen review. This is a new type of ramen I've never had before and it is known as the Kenmen Shisen Tan Tan Men. So it's a Japanese type of ramen <clears throat> and looking at it, it looks like it's pho noodles. <laughs> it just looks like it's pho noodles. I'm, I'm guessing you're supposed to add meat. Like maybe some char siu and some onion in here and I don't have that meat so I just wanted to try the ramen yeah it does taste like a I would say this is the closest flavor profile wise that I've ever gotten to the actual ramen when you go to a shop and this is the tan tan flavor I'm assuming based off of the name. I don't know why they chose pho noodles though. Why didn't they use their regular type of ramen noodles? Which are the thinner ones. I don't know why they chose rice noodle ones. It has really good flavor. Um, I think it's supposed to be spicy because um, there's a pepper guy in the back, <laughs> but it's not spicy. But the broth is great. It tastes very similar to when you go to um, an actual Japanese restaurant because um, when I opened the broth packet, there was like a a dark soup base where it's thicker and then there was oil and in regular or normal ramen when you get it at a shop that's kind of how they do it they start off they don't just it's not like pho where you like you know grab a big pot of just the liquid and the broth and that's it they actually start off with a base in the bottom of the bowl and then they add a broth and then they add an oil on top so this is similar to that the flavor is good I don't really care for the pho noodles I don't think it does anything special for this ramen. Mm, the broth tastes good, but yeah, this ramen. It's like the broth is good, but that's about it. The noodles is very lackluster. It takes away a lot of the flavor. It's kind of weird eating it with pho noodles. I feel like I should be eating pho. Yeah, it's just okay. A meat would really help this but then again I feel like I would be eating pho I don't think I would be feel like I'm eating a ramen would I get this again probably not no um, if I ever did, I would take out just the sauce packet and leave the pho noodles for when I actually make pho and I need some noodles. But I would use the sauce packet for like a stir fry or something. Um, maybe even go and buy the own, my own Japanese noodles. But... I guess it's just really not worth it if I'm just really getting for just a sauce packet. This is not that great. It's kind of like when you go and get those, um, we call it pho manoa, the, um, which is basically the pho packets that are green and it's really supposed to imitate pho. Um, and it's a ramen 
but normally whenever we get that we add like the meat for pho, like we put meatballs in there and we add hoisin or sriracha if you want or a little bit of beef paste but with this one I just feel like if you add meat like it has to be the slow cooked pork like char siu like the Japanese type to make it taste close to the ramen I don't know I just don't like the noodles <laughs> I will. I'm done eating this. I don't feel like I'm wasting space in my stomach eating this. It's really not good. I'm gonna be done eating here. <laughs> really short brief review here you guys. Um, I think the best part about it was the packaging. How it's black. It really stood out for me. The picture with the meat on there it looked really good. But this is not a ramen I would buy or I would recommend. It's really it just didn't do anything for me.